Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee and you can find me at creativelyyours.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and super excited that you're joining me today for our crafty fun. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. So when this video premieres on YouTube, I will be live with you in the chat. So please feel free to let me know where you're from. Um and say hello, and I am there to answer any questions that you may have, all right? So if you're watching the video on replay, that's awesome as well, and I'd still love to hear from you. So definitely leave me a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can on that. So today we have a lovely project using one of our brand new product suites in our catalog. Um, this is the Country Woods Suite that is our part of our all-star tutorial video class bundle. Yes. So every month we offer a new um, video class bundle featuring a product suite in one of our catalogs. And um, this one is amazing as well. I'm in a group with 11 other uh, demonstrators. And I got to tell you, the projects are pretty darn good. So you don't want to miss those. So you can get your hands on that from me free with a $50 or greater purchase, or you can purchase it in my tutorial store for $15. So got that going on. Of course, the best way to stay up to date on everything I've got going on is to get on my email list, right? I send out a fabulous tutorial bundle, um, not just one, but a bundle of tutorials every single month to give you fresh creative ideas to keep you going. Um, and those are fabulous as well. So you don't want to miss those. So definitely get on my email list. I also have registration going on for our new Cultivated Creativity Kit for May, which is featuring the Simply Zinnia uh, products. And love, love, love. They're great. They're beautiful. They're fun. We got a few little techniques in there, a little bit of a fun fold. And what makes our um, projects different is we, well, they're not fast, easy, boring projects. They're not over-the-top projects. Um, so I think crafters at, at various levels can do them, but we do the insides and not everybody does that. So we love bringing the design to the inside. I, it's just as special as the outside. So you'll see a um, sneak peek video on my YouTube channel. So check that out. And if you're not already a subscriber, we'd love to have you join us. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch the video over and let's get started with our crafty fun, shall we? Okay, so today's project is going to feature the Country Birdhouse Stamp and Die Bundle. Super cute, super cute. Um, and we're going to pull in some of the floral images in this one. And I'm also pairing it with the um, Unbounded Love Dies. So these label dies. Love it, love it, love it. So this one right here is the one we're going to be pulling in along with this leafy image here. So we're kind of combining those two today. So this is all part of the or these are out of the country woods suite so this is what we're featuring for this month's all-star video class tutorial bundle so this is the project we're going to make so we're going to do a little bit of a collage card here and a little bit of ombre appearance and then we're going to bring our design to the inside here so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to start with my misty moonlight card base and i'm going to fold this in half so this is just a half sheet of cardstock so when you cut your cardstock in half in either direction it creates a full size card. Now I'm gonna use my white craft ink and I'm going to use my blending brush. Now this is not the easiest technique to do because the ink will tend to stick. So you wanna get some ink on your blending brush and you're just going to kind of pull that towards you. You can try doing this circular motion that we would normally do with a blending brush, but what I found was that it really stuck to my cardstock, right? And if you don't want that harsh, you know, you can use a light, you can lose a light hand here, and you can blend this, right? So I've got enough ink on there that it's allowing me to go ahead and blend this out a little bit. And of course, it's gonna dry a little bit lighter than what you do here. So we're just getting this down first, and it's gonna create that fun ombre look. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit more white ink down in this area. Again, it's grabbing my brush because it's sticking, because this is thick, thick ink. But I'm trying to get the it, the ink layered a little bit heavier on this one end, so it gives it, you that lovely ombre appearance here. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Let's close this up. 
this is a messy one, and we'll bring our silicone craft sheet in and kind of clean that up off of our glass mat. Right, all right. And then we probably need to dry that just a bit so that we don't end up with wet cardstock, right? That's never fun. Okay, so we'll move that out of our way. We'll clean up as we go. So we're going to let that dry. Now let me bring in my trimmer. And I've got my piece of designer series paper. So this is, let me look at my cheat sheet. This is three and a half by five and a half. And I want to angle cut this. So I'm just going to slide this into my channel. I'm putting this point at three quarters and this point in at the channel, okay? So you can go a little more if you want. It depends on how much angle you want on this. So about three quarters, right? And then you definitely don't wanna cut into this point. You want to start in the middle or at the other end where it's more of a flat edge and you're gonna cut that because otherwise it'll crush your point, right? So you've got these lovely two pieces that we just angle cut there. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and do our card inside first. We'll go ahead and get our layer ready for that. And so what I did there is I'm using my Knight of Navy ink. Alrighty. And we'll pull in our sentiment, which is this lovely one here. And we'll go ahead and ink this up. And then I'm stamping it to one side. So I'm stamping this first so that if I mess up, I can flip it over before I start adhering too much to it. Yay. It worked out. I like it when it works out. It's always good, right? Okay, so let's bring in our silicone craft sheet because we definitely want that for this technique, right? So when I'm adhering lovely pieces like this, one thing I love about my silicone craft sheet, let me make sure I'm in camera, is that you can go all the way to the end of your paper and it doesn't stick, right? It doesn't stick to that silicone craft sheet and you've got adhesive all the way to that point, which is perfect. And I'm just gonna lay this down right on this edge, this bottom edge here, and kind of let that do its thing. Perfect. And now I've got a little bit of a point sticking out. I can just clip that off with my paper snips. Where did I bury my paper snips? There they are. Let me grab those and we'll take this clip off real quick here. So as I mentioned, I'm live with you in the chat. So if you've got any questions, um, comments, concerns, let me know. All right, so let's kind of look at this. So we've got a couple flowers as well in the inside. Maybe we'll put those on when we do the flowers on the front as well. Um, so let's go ahead and adhere this right down into our card base here. So I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal. So if you are not joining me at the time that this video is premiering, then, um, and on the replay, I am happy to answer any questions that anybody has. So just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Perfect. All right, so there's our inside. We were gonna add some flowers. We'll do that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and add this layer right to the card front. So this one is a fast and easy peasy. You can change it up. I love all the wood grain textures in this suite. There's actually two different, all right, Wendy. There's actually two different uh, sets of designer series paper and two different bundles in this particular suite. So it's got lots to offer, lots of great coordination, um, lots of fun colors. All right, so now we've got our layer on the front there. Let's work on our sentiment next. So as I mentioned to you, I am using this lovely die right here. So this is gonna cut out that label. And what's interesting about this one is that it cuts out an outline as well as the inside. So let me show you that because I already die cut this to save us a little bit of time. So here's the outline image and then here's the inner image. So you can use it both and kind of inlay that or you can use just the uh, outline image, which I thought was kind of fun, right? I'm gonna use both and kind of put these together so let's go ahead and take this and we're gonna stamp our sentiment again in Knight of Navy. Let me put this down. 
So I'm gonna just stamp that right on there and hopefully it worked well and I don't have to die cut a new one. All right, yay! I like it when it works out. <laughs> okay, so to prepare this, you guys know liquid glue and I don't always get along really well. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna flip that over and I'm going to grab my liquid glue and I'll put some dots of liquid glue around this frame to kind of tack it in place. Now, if you wanted it really secure, I would recommend putting adhesive sheets on the back of this before you die cut it. I did not do that um, on this one and that's okay, right? I didn't really need it for the inner part, although it would have been fine as well. So it's entirely up to you on what you wanna do. So I'm just putting little dots of liquid glue. Now, I also cut this lovely leafy image from that same set of dies. Let me grab that again so you can see. And that's this one right here because I wanted to kind of pull that in on the other end of the label as well. So again, we're going to flip this over and we are going to go ahead and put some dots of glue on the back of this one as well. Alrighty, so we'll let that sit and dry for just a moment. Dry a little bit. It can dry all the way. Our liquid glue does dry tacky, which is nice because it allows you to be able to um, layer things in and put them all together, which is always fun, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take this frame. And I'm gonna take this leafy image here because I wanna lay these so that that is tucked in under. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where do I want that to be? And I'm going to lay this down right there. Okay. And it's already sticking to my fingers, which is why I am not a huge liquid glue fan. And then I can lay down this frame. Now, before I get too crazy with that, I want to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of my sentiment. And again, I'm, I'm fine to go over right there with that silicone craft sheet. And then that way I could put this in here. I can make sure I'm straight, right, before I commit too much. All right, so now I can push those down a little bit. So now I've just got that inner part of that sentiment label um, adhered back inside, which is kind of fun, right? All right, so let's jazz this up a bit. So I've got some flowers that I have die cut right out of my Misty Moonlight cardstock. So let's see, I have done that with the Country Birdhouse dies. So we are taking, let's go ahead and pull this out so you guys can see this. So I've pulled the floral images. So there's four of them that I've pulled and I've cut a couple of them a couple of times, right? The smaller ones, because I wanna take those to the inside. Now I'm gonna use some dimensionals on some of the flowers and some of the flowers I'm going to put down flat. So let's use baby dimensionals. And I just happen to have black ones here and easy to grab, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I wanna grab this one, this kind of medium flower, and I'm gonna pop that up with a dimensional. I don't know if I did that on my original, actually. I think I did. But that's what I'm doing today, either way, right? Okay, so we've got that one popped up. And then I want to actually pop up this large one here. So I had to look at my sample. I wasn't really sure what I did. So you don't have to pop these up if you don't want to do that. I just thought since we don't have anything else popped up, why not add a few extra little bling -a blings right? By popping up something on our card base here. Give it a little more dimension, okay? So we've got those, nice. Now that last one I'm gonna put flat, this one here. And I know that my inside ones I'm gonna put flat. So let's go ahead and get some liquid glue on each of these. Now you could put the glue in the middle, you could put it across the whole flower, it's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna do the middle. I'm okay with that if it's not secured from edge to edge. Again, you could have put adhesive sheets on the back of these before you die cut them and it would save you any angst in putting those together. Cute, right? Super simple. Like I said, we're keeping it really simple today. And then I'm bringing that to the inside as well. I've got a couple of those on the inside. So we're just gonna put those a little along this little wood grain here. 
Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Super cute. All right, so let's add a little bling to finish this one off. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I do like it. So we're going to pull in the new, these are Smoky Slate and Basic Gray Pearls. They are part of the suite. And I don't know if you can tell, it's Smoky Slate and then Gray, Smoky Slate and then Gray. I'm going to use the gray ones on this project today. And you can mix and match and use big ones and little ones. I think I'm going to pull out a couple of big ones, right? Let's put a big one on this flower. Now the profile is a little taller on these, so if this is something that is going to bother you, then don't do this part, right? Um, you could use, maybe you don't pop up your flowers and you leave this flat. Um, I think it will be okay when you send this one through the mail, but you would definitely wanna put a piece of something to cover, right, to secure it. So how fun is that? A little collage going on with those little pearls. So what I mean by that is like, like when you put it in your envelope, slide in like a textured piece of cardstock and the more texture you can have on that cardstock, the better and it will protect this when you send that through the mail because otherwise these will get ripped right off because they are a little tall. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Super, super simple and you can do it with all the fun different designer papers in this suite and change up your colors and kind of mix and match it a little bit. So I love it, I hope you love it as well. So if you're enjoying um, all the content I'm sharing with you, definitely give me a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your crafty friends. Invite them over to join us on Tuesdays at 12.30 Eastern. Um, we would love to have everybody with us. And uh, I hope to see you again next Tuesday for our next paper crafting project. All right, bye for now.